Oh, I can't believe it. How did he find you? Sally went to him. I, you know, I understand now for the first time so much why she lied to me all these years. What do you mean? Even my father is a cardinal. What? Sally knew him when she was still in Tulsa. He hadn't joined the seminary yet. And he didn't even know that she was pregnant. Oh, well, where, where did you talk to him? Right here. Right here. He, he was here just a few minutes ago. Oh, Reva. The man has got such a sense of presence. He has such bearing and integrity. It just sort of resonates. Being here with him, I felt such a sense of trust and, and pride. I felt like I had known him all my life. We, we just talked. I know how much this means to you. And I am so, so happy that you finally found him. I feel like the sun has finally broken through the haze. I understand so much now why Sally lied to me all those years. She did it to protect him and to protect me. It was, it was almost like a noble thing. Since he's gone, I've been standing here and I've been thinking about all the things that I wish I had said to him. I wish I had said this. Or I wish I had said that. I wanted to tell him everything. Well, you can now that you found him. No, I can't. He took a tremendous risk in contacting me like this, and he'd do it again, I know, if I asked him, but that would mean putting in jeopardy everything that he's worked for his whole life, and I, I can't ask him to do that. have been hard saying goodbye. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. For a moment there, I didn't want to let him go. I knew I had to. But I felt like a child again. I, I wanted to grab a hold of his hand. Not let him go, not ever. Oh, Reva, I miss him already. You know, all my life, I thought about what it would be like when I finally met my father. And now it's over, just like that. You feel disappointed? Well, not really. It's just that I always looked at it as being a beginning, but it's not. It's, it's an ending. I just wonder what it would be like if if I had had him when I was growing up. I know what you mean. That's right, of course you do. It's got to be different for someone who grows up who has a father's stamp of approval. Who has someone to share his, his pain and his victory and... I promise, my child is never going to have to imagine what that feels like. I know have a wonderful father. I'm going to do my damnedest to be a good father. I'm going to be there for him from the, from the day that he's born. I'm going to take that child in my arms and I'm going to promise him, I'm going to promise him the world. <laughs> I'm going to promise him that I'll protect him and that I'll love him and that he'll never want for anything. And he'll always know how his father feels about him. And then when he gets old enough, I'm going to take him to his grandfather. And have his grandfather give him his blessing. <laughs> uh, it, I'm not upset because it's... because I'm hurt or anything. I'm not. It, I finally feel at peace. I know, honey. I know you understand. You're the only one in the whole world that does. And you know what I believe? What I truly believe? Is that there's a reason for everything in this world. That no matter how random and arbitrary 
everything seems sometimes. There's always logic behind the craziness. You mean you think there was a reason that I didn't know who my father was until now? Mm -hmm. I think it made you who you are today. I think it... It was lonely and it was painful, but it... It made you strong. And I think part of being an adult is being able to... Recognize the circumstances that we can't change. And learning to accept them and live with them. Reva, what are you driving at, baby? What? I spent uh, the last few hours walking around trying to figure out what to do about us. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. We know what we're going to do about us. We're going to be together, Reva. Carl, I saw Maeve earlier today. She's sick. She's sick? What do you mean? She's a diabetic. Now, wait a minute, that's impossible. I would have known now, if she was diabetic. They dying. discovered about her condition when she was in the hospital. It makes her pregnancy a high risk. Why didn't she tell me about this? Because she loves you. She loves you so much that she doesn't she do anything to protect your happiness. I swore I wasn't going to go about this this way. I was going to stay calm and collected. Go about? What are you talking about, Rita? Go about what? What do you May mean? Maeve Stoddard looked me in the face today. Me, Reva Lewis, she looked at me in the face and she said that whatever happens to her, if anything happens to her, that she wants you and me to raise her baby. If anything happens? You mean... Kyle, maybe. Kyle, maybe needs you. And I realized after talking to her today that she loves you. She loves you as much as I do. I don't know what to say. I had no idea that Maeve's condition was as serious as this. God, I must have seemed so callous when she was telling me about the baby. She understood. That's what I'm talking about. She would do anything for you and for that baby. I think she'd even die if it came to that. Oh, Kyle, she's already proven that. She proved it at Mindy's reception when she got between you and that bullet. She's proving it again right now by having your child in spite of what it might do to her own health. She gives, and she gives, and she gives. Kyle, your child is going to have a wonderful mother. Reva, everything you're saying is very true. It is, but you're going to be a wonderful mother to my children, too. I'm afraid. Maeve is. That is the child you have to concern yourself with now. I am concerned with that child. I am, and with Maeve, too. But that doesn't have anything to do with us. It has everything to do with us. Do you really think you can tear yourself down the middle and make anybody happy? You and me and Maeve and the baby, it's not going to work, Kyle, it won't work. No, I can't believe you're saying this, Reva, I won't believe it. We have been through too much to turn away from each other. You don't have a choice. The child won't come between us, Reva, nothing will come between us. Listen to me, please. You have been standing here promising to give that child everything you never had. Promising to give him his father. Yes, that's right. Well, being a father means being the head of a household. It means working with that mother to make a home. Family. That's all part of it. Not just some name on a birth certificate. It, it's not just visiting that child every other Saturday and taking him to the park. Family makes things fall into place. Gives the child a sense of identity, makes him feel whole. You know what you have to do? I don't want to give you up. I don't think I can go through giving you up again. You can go through anything for your child. I mean, you already love him, don't you? I mean, you want to give him everything. You want to, you want to do right by him, don't you? Please, Kyle. Go to him. Give him everything you never had.
can't let you go, Eva. Yes, you can, and you will. You have to go to Maeve. You have to go to your baby. You have to take care of them. And we can fight this. We can make ourselves miserable trying to get around this, but we'll always come to the same conclusion. I will never love anyone the way I love you. always love each other, Kyle. Nobody can take that away from us. It's too strong. And that is what's going to enable us to do what we have to do now. I just wish things had turned out differently. So do I. My darling, so do I. But at least I feel... I feel better knowing that you're going to have what you always wanted. Oh, Kyle, you're going to be part of the family. But I wanted you to. I wanted you to be my family, Rita. Go to me. Go to me. Take care of her. Take care of your baby. Be happy. I will always 